How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianluca, AKA Dr. Calcagno, and I am a first year family medicine resident and recent medical school graduate. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about the MCAT, but especially MCAT prep courses, because after all of these years, MCAT and how to do well on the MCAT continues to be probably my most requested topic from pre-meds and other students looking to get into medicine. Now, the reason I think that so many people keep asking me to talk about the MCAT is because the test itself is probably the most important, if not one of the most important factors that determines whether or not you get into medical school. And when I first wrote the exam, I did okay. I got like low 70s at the time, but it wasn't enough for me to get into medical school. It took me a second attempt to really figure out the ins and outs of the exam. Eventually I ended up scoring a 95th percentile and I was able to get in. But over time, the marks that we're seeing to get into medical school keep going up. And I have so many students that ask me whether or not they should be doing things on their own or whether or not they should be going through things like MCAT prep courses. And what I wanna to say today is that there are so many different options available to you. If you want to go ahead and try to do the MCAT by yourself, there are plenty of free resources online, but especially for people that didn't come from a science undergrad, especially from people that don't have a lot of areas of expertise or of classes taken in a lot of these topics here, they ask me what type of MCAT prep courses they should be looking into. And that's why I think this video is so important. It took me a really long time to find a course that I was comfortable with recommending. First, based off of reputation, I wanted students to have gone through the course themselves and given me some actual feedback that they appreciated what the course was doing, but then also one that I was able to review myself and provide a non-biased opinion. And that's why today, in addition to a few other things, we're gonna be giving you a completely honest review about why I think Prep 101 gets my number one recommendation for prep courses that you could take if you were looking into getting into a prep course for the MCAT. But even if you're not, then I do want to go over a few things that I think people should keep in mind when they are looking for how they could be successful on the MCAT test. Now, in order to do exceptional on this absolute beast of an exam, there are three very important things that you need to keep in mind. In my opinion, the most important part about getting ready for the MCAT test is to have access to good resources in terms of learning the material yourself. A lot of this material for many students will not have been tested in your undergrad. You won't have learned all of it. And the MCAT exam is so difficult for so many students because of the sheer volume of areas that they could pull their test questions from. And that's why having some sort of system to make sure that you're learning all of the possible content that can be tested on the MCAT is going to be probably your number one priority, especially when you first start studying. Now, the second thing that you're going to need to have when getting ready for the MCAT are test questions that actually address the things that you are studying. It is not a good use of your time, in my opinion, to have one system of actually learning the material and then a separate question bank that is somewhat abstract and not related to the material that you are learning because it doesn't allow you to solidify the concepts that you just read about. What I would look for if I was looking for some way of studying for the MCAT and what I did when I was getting ready for the MCAT myself was to have questions that went along with the material that I was studying and I think that's really important when it comes to learning the concepts on the exam. And finally, the last part about MCAT prep that really sets people aside and lets them achieve those really, really high scores, we're talking 90th percentile and above, is that focus on doing the practice exams and then being able to take those exams up afterwards to see where your errors were. It's only through actually reviewing practice exams and doing multiple exams that simulate the MCAT that I think you could actually achieve those higher scores. I really do not know many students that were able to crack that 90th percentile and above without doing multiple practice exams at some point, especially towards the end of their MCAT prep. Now, having said all that, let's take a look at what the course with Prep 101 actually offers to understand why I give it my absolute highest recommendation in terms of being an awesome MCAT prep course for anyone that's interested. When you look at the breakdown of the course, with the price that you pay, you get 138 hours of live instruction broken down into different classes that you could take at multiple times throughout the day, depending on your schedule. They have a flexible schedule. They offer classes three times per day, depending on what your particular day looks like and what other responsibilities you might have going on. So I think that flexible schedule with that live instruction is really, really great. But in addition, and to help with even more personalization, you're also going to be paired with an MCAT mentor before the class even begins. And it is this person's job to meet with you and identify scheduling conflicts, to identify gaps in your knowledge, 
and help you create a plan in terms of how you are going to best study given whatever timeline you have moving forward and to actually approach test day. I think this is a really great feature to have and I think all prep companies that are offering these types of courses need to start doing something like this. Now, in terms of resources, you are going to get an entire exam crackers study guide with everything that you'll need to know on the MCAT. It breaks down all the different sections into manageable books. When you are talking about the different study books to use for the MCAT, exam crackers is one that is frequently brought up by many students to me because they're known for cutting out a lot of the details that are not actually tested on the MCAT. There are many different prep companies out there and I think some students like some more than others. One of the things that I like the best about exam crackers is that they're great at cutting out the fluff and a lot of the material that's in here is very high yield and when coupled with doing the actual practice questions will really help you to remember the things that are important and that will consistently show Show up on the exam. Now a question that I had at this time was, so what? You have a good set of MCAT books over here, you could go out and buy them, a few hundred bucks, get your own package, you could do it yourself. And yeah, that's an underlying theme to all of this. We'll talk about it more at the end. You can do it by yourself. But one thing that I think sets this course above in terms of learning with these materials here are the classes that are taught by actual screened and recommended tutors. Basically the MCAT tutors for this particular course are only hired and kept in that position through evaluations and recommendations from the students that take the course. So in that way, they are screening for the examiners that over time continue to perform at a level that is actually appreciated by the students that are taking the class. And this is basically what happens. You get these books before you start the class, but the way that it works is that you have the before class readings where you would go ahead and read through the book itself and do your before class readings. Then afterwards, you do your in-class work in the flexible lessons. And then after that follow-up, you have the after class homework to help you solidify and make sure that you know what you're doing before you move on to the next lesson. That is probably the number one way to contrast a course with just doing it yourself. It is ensuring that you are exposed to this material multiple times in a row so that you are able to retain what you learned. But that's not all you're getting in terms of resources. And to justify this being a great course, you're also getting 20 different full-length practice exams for the MCAT which is probably the most important part about studying like we talked about before, you are getting them from a variety of different places. So you're going to get 10 from Altus, 5 from the AAMC, and then 5 from exam crackers, as well as score reports and video take up as well. You're also going to be getting instructor's notes and a variety of different question packs from the AAMC. This course is great at taking resources from a variety of places to help you expand your knowledge and really capture all these different areas in terms of things they could test you on and put it together in one place. And I really, Really like how they're able to include all of these different things from different areas. And then finally, one feature that I think absolutely blew me away in terms of reviewing what was offered with this course and something that I think that, again, all companies should be doing at this point, because you're not going to be able to keep up with companies that do offer this if you're not offering this program right here. And that is unlimited free repeats. If you buy the course and something comes up, you're studying, the exam doesn't go the way that you want it to, you're able to take that course again with the previous fee that you already paid. I think that that one time access and buying the course needs to be standard because sometimes something goes bad that day, you get test anxiety. I think that it is so important that we're having these repeats available for students that need to write the exam more than once. So now I'm going to give the course my final review in four different categories. That is resources, class structure, pricing, and miscellaneous. I do want to give an honest review as to what I thought of this course right here, if I am going to recommend that people take it. But before we get into that, there is just one thing I want to say, and that is that I always try my best to be honest with everyone. Yes, I do recommend this course to people, but you, you don't need this course. I would say that over and over again. I myself had to take the MCAT twice. The first time I had no idea what I was doing. In hindsight, I probably would have benefited from this course. And I justified it at the time of not taking it because the courses were fairly expensive and they are fairly expensive. But because I didn't do well that first time and I had to write it again next year, I wasn't able to work that next summer. Whereas that money that I could have just spent on the course and gotten it right the first time, if it did go well, I wouldn't have to have taken that next summer off. I could have worked and I could have made back that money and more. So you really just have to look at these things from multiple different angles. But having said all that, it is possible to do well on the MCAT without a prep course. Thousands of people do it every year, but at the same time, thousands of people also do very, very well 
on this exam by taking a prep course. Deciding what is best for you will involve doing your research, looking at opinions of multiple different people, and seeing where you personally fit into the whole MCAT equation. What was your background like? What do you feel like in terms of how you would go about studying, how much time you have, and what your current financial situation is like? So now, in terms of final review for this course, starting off with resources, there are 20 full-length exams within this course. I believe that is more so than any other current course offered in terms of MCAT prep. These are taken from a variety of different resources that are among the best in their respective categories. In addition, you are getting what is one of my favorite MCAT study books. Again, trying to minimize the fluff here. It gets at least a 9 out of 10. I want to hold off on the 10 out of 10 because I do not know whether or not you need all 20 practice exams, to be honest. I myself usually recommend students to do about 10. 15 would probably put you in a good place, but having that additional five is not going to harm you. I think nine out of 10 is pretty safe to say in terms of individual resources that are contained within the program itself. The second category, which is the class structure category, without a doubt gets 10 out of 10. That is the only grade that I could possibly give this because they have the option to take online classes multiple times per day, where you could take one class or all three, depending on your schedule. They have in-person classes as well. Well, online recorded lectures, you get the class structure books beforehand so that you know your pre-readings as well as your homework passages as well to get ready for the next lecture. I do not see another option than to give them a 10 out of 10. And from my perspective, I do believe that this company is going out of their way to make classes accessible to their students and make sure that to the students that sign up, they are able to attend whenever their schedule permits it. The third category is price. And this one's very difficult because as I talked about before, MCAT prep courses are expensive by nature, especially for students. But what I have to keep in mind when assigning a grade to this particular category is that all of the MCAT prep companies are expensive. And surely when I compare different prep courses from one to the other, I just go ahead and pull up Princeton Review right now, which is another really popular one. There are options starting from as low as $2,800 for a winter boot camp and all the way up to $10,000. I believe those prices are in American currency. By contrast, Prep 101 shows right now I could sign up for the course for $2,600 Canadian dollars. In my opinion, relatively speaking, that is value for money. I can't give them less than an 8 out of 10 in this particular category. I do wish it was cheaper for students, but I have to understand you're paying for the books, you're paying for the instructors, you're paying for the people to actually make the course. And I do think that you're stretching your money a long way if you do choose to go with this course. And in the final category, we have the miscellaneous section. I could think of no additional feature, no quirk that I would like to add to an MCAT course. From free repeats of the course, should you need it, to an MCAT mentor that meets with you in the beginning and then multiple times throughout the course to assess your learning and how we need to adapt your different strategies and schedules in order to study a little bit better, to the individualized scheduling for classes and meeting multiple times per day. If I I was going to design a class for myself to take and to recommend to students, this is exactly the type of class that I would like to have. This is why I agreed to do this review. This is why I'm happy telling students to go ahead and consider it if you are looking. I would give the miscellaneous section 10 out of 10 as well. All right, everyone, and that is the end of the video. I think I talked your head off and went over every aspect of this course and what I think people should be looking for if you're considering signing up for any course in terms of MCAT prep. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. But in addition, in the description, I will have a link. It is a referral link. Whether or not you want to sign up for the course, that is entirely up to you. I do not care. I am just here giving you guys information. But there is a referral link and I do get a little bit of a kickback. So if you are going to sign up, please consider using that link too and help me out a little bit as well if you would like. On top of that, if you took the course already and you want to leave honest feedback in the comment section below, you're welcome to do that. But please keep in mind, everyone, that no matter how amazing a course is, you still need to put in that work yourself. No one can get a particular score for you. The MCAT really is one of the hardest tests that you will have to go through in your journey towards medicine. And no matter what you decide to do, study by yourself or sign up for a class, you are going to have to sit down for hours and hours and study. But as someone that is currently on the other side, I can tell you that at least for me, it was worth it. And I really hope that that means something to you all. Again, any questions at all, leave them in the comment section below. But thank you guys very much for watching. Best of luck to everyone, and we will see you all in the next one. So everyone take care.